I played Cyberpunk 2077 for the first time in November last year, and one of the things that caught my eye in the trailer was the Thermal Katana, which I later realized wasn't even in the game. Until now. And it is such a cool looking weapon that I just had to make it. I started with 3D visualization in Blender, which allowed me to get a better idea of how will these katanas look with different types of wood, but I got a little bit carried away with the number of designs. What is good about wood prep for these CNC focused projects is that it doesn't have to be perfect. We just make it so that the wood is flat and cut roughly to size, so all of this can easily be done in a day. I have to say that all of these planks had nice texture, but walnut planks had very limited coloring on them. And at first it seemed like an issue, but later on it added a very unique look. You might be wondering why I'm making enough swords to equip a small army. And that is because these swords will be simple to make. Or so I naively thought at the beginning. At first I thought using hot glue might be a good idea to stop the wood from bending, but after a couple of planks I stopped using it. After two weeks of CNCing all of the parts, it was time to send them, starting with carefully separating them from the tabs. One of the reasons why projects can suddenly become frustrating is when you're working with cheaper tools, they can often break or malfunction, like what happened with our planer. Most of the time it's just a small problem, like a worn out screw or something jammed, but when these things pile up or it's something serious, can significantly slow down the tempo of the project. I guess regular maintenance is very necessary, even though it's not fun.
I am aware of the fact that it is called thermal for a reason, but this version will not feature red hot looking blade because I want to emphasize the texture and color combination of different types of wood. I am not very skilled when it comes to glue ups, but this handle was fortunately simple, for the most parts, but gluing the blade and the handle was a different story. So what you see here is a real struggle to make these two pieces stick together, at least a little bit, so that I can somehow later clamp them together. It's not much, but in the end it worked out. This project took me longer than I originally anticipated, but seeing the finished result, I gotta say it was all worth it.